Just the number is bad enough, but scientists say the timeline is shocking. The continental U.S. has lost 22% of its butterflies in just 20 years. The trend is linear and downward. Uh, butterflies have been declining for the last 20 years, and that decline is not stopping. The team of scientists runs 35 monitoring programs across the U.S. The study's findings are based on more than 76,000 surveys. The decline is small annually, only about 1% a year, but it adds up. If you imagine you went out to go watch butterflies in 2000 and you saw 100 and you went back to the same site in 2020, you'd probably only see 80 individuals. Now, some regions have even bigger drops. The southwest has lost more than half its butterflies. Climate change and drought are factors there. In the Midwest, insecticides are the problem. One of the reasons scientists are warning about the loss of butterflies is their role in pollination. We often think about bees, but for example, butterflies contribute about $100 million a year to pollination of cotton just in Texas. Now, the other issue is one scientists can't study. You can watch and count butterflies. Well, that's not possible with bees or flies or beetles, but this study's findings don't point to positive news for them. All of the things that are harmful to butterflies um, are also harmful to these other species. So we have every reason to think that these declines are representative of other insect species. The study's results were negative enough that seeing them, some researchers were brought to tears. But there is hope. With better control of pesticides and work to promote habitats, butterfly populations can rebound. The study also found they're doing better in northern regions. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Montreal.